Hello and welcome to a Tabletop Bellhop Cardboard Coat Check. I am Mo Tuzno, the Tabletop Bellhop, your Cardboard Concierge, answering your gaming and game night questions and striving to make everyone's gaming experience better. Right now, the question I'm answering is what's in the box in regards to this box o fun from the op. This is a copy of the Telestrations 12 Player Party Pack. Now, full disclosure, for one, uh, the op was cool enough to send me a copy of this to check out, but two, I love Telestrations. It's one of the best party games I've ever played, but for years, all I had was the standard size, and I didn't, could only play up to eight players. This gives me more players, which I love, more Telestrations, and if I combine it with my other copy, I can play 20 players. We get a massive games of Telestrations. But before I can do that, I've got to open it, and I figure if I'm going to open this up anyway, why not record an unboxing video? So I can show everyone else out there what you get in this box for one of the best party games ever published. So without further ado, I'm going to crack open my brand new copy of Telestrations, the 12 player party pack. So here you have my copy of Telestrations, the 12, party par 12 player party pack. Tongue twister there. Um, if anyone doesn't know what Telestrations is all about, I will explain it quickly as I show off the components in here. Fox fart, sorry. Here you have how to play right on top. And the whole thing with Telestrations is it is the telephone phone game or eat poop you cat, where you are going to get a clue and you're either going to write down the clue or you're going to draw what you read. Then you're going to pass that to the next player who's going to then look at your picture and write down what they think it is. Or they're going to look at what you wrote down and try to draw it. And well, then the next player is going to get it and do the same thing. So it switches between drawing guess, draw, guess, draw, guess. And while the goal, I guess, would be that the your, your book goes all the way around and comes back to you and looks the same as it did before. Well, at least that's the stated goal. The actual goal is all this ha ha ha, all this laughter that happens while you're playing. This is honestly one of my favorite party games of all time. Um, rules are dead simple. You are looking at, what, six steps? Six steps, and then there are is a system for scoring. And I've got to admit, um, there is two different scoring systems. We don't usually keep track of scoring when we play this game. So what we have here is a six-sided die with etched pips. We have a blue and yellow sand timer. We have a number of markers. What I love about this is the original Telestrations came with thick point markers. Here we have fine point markers. You have no idea until you tried to play how much better these are than the original. Love it. Nice Telestration markers. Uh, there should be 12 of them. Yep, 12 of them. They actually fit in here quite nice. You have a card holder. Interestingly, there's a logon to Telestrations.com. Each card is going to have a this side and that side. It's your choice which side you want to use, this side or that side. You have another second pack. So here you go. This is cool. I didn't know this was in here. 600 new words for Telestrations. So not only am I getting these should match what I have in the original game, we have new words, which is awesome, with this side and that side. I will crack one of these open to kind of show them off. What's interesting is they are numbered, so you could technically keep track of which ones you've played and which you haven't. Though, honestly, each card has six different options on it, and you're going to roll a D6 to figure out which one. It's going to take you forever to get through all of these. So here you have it. You can kind of see the cards. These are the 600 new words. Again, with the this side and that side, not a lot to really see except for the fact there's words on both sides and the D6. Sometimes you get to make up your own. These go into here so that all the this sides are facing one way and all the that sides are facing the other. And thankfully it fits the new 300 cards. So you have a nice card sleeve for that. Next, only thing that's left are the booklets. Each has its own unique color. These are, of course, dry erase friendly. You're going to mark your scoring here. You're going to write what your word is. It tells you what you need to do, whether it's write your word, then draw, or draw, then write your word. You put your name in it, and then it can go around a maximum of 12 times. This is where you can't really combine it with the eight player set and keep going around because you'll run out. But then you can go around eight, 12 times for 12 different players. You're going to sketch it. You're going to guess it. You're going to sketch it. You're going to guess it. There are reminders on what to do here. I, I will note they are sticking together, but like there's no damage. There's nothing coming off. 
So just going through six, seven. And like I said, I like the fact that reminders are right there in case you forget how to play. So the first time through, you're probably going to want to do this before handing these out. Just go through each book, flip through it. So there should be 12 of these books, each different colors. We have white, blue, red, black, orange, and teal. There's even a baggie. Oh, dry erase. Nice. So it even comes with eraser pads. So that's pretty cool. 12 eraser pads. So you're not using your hands to get it all undone. It looks like more, maybe possibly more than 12. Nice bonus. I'm not going to bother keeping the bag for these. Three go in one way, three go in the other to keep this balanced. And then we have our other colors over here. Okay, no more eraser pads there. So we have purple, pink, and blue. Light blue with yellow, green, and fuchsia. That's it. Um, pretty much exactly what I expected. A very ser serviceable box insert where nothing's going to fall out. I appreciate that even though there were the bonus cards, they do fit in this box, which is a nice touch. Goes in here. Rule book. There you have. Telestrations 12 player party pack. So that's it. That's what you get in the USAopoly published Telestrations 12 player party pack. Kind of knew what I was getting going into this, but then I noticed there's a set of 300 new cards, and that is fantastic. I will say, with the number of times I have played Telestrations after getting into the game years ago, I have potentially seen every card in the game. So it's cool to know there's some new stuff in here from my other printing. Uh, this is honestly one of the best party games out there. This is a eat poop you cat telephone the game where you're going to swap up between drawing clues and guessing them, uh, writing down them in words, pass the player on your left and hope they go around and come back at the same result. Though honestly, it's way more fun if they don't. Uh, may, you may want to toss out the scoring, but there are two different scoring systems added to this too. So you can play it competitively or you can just play it for fun. I personally recommend for fun, but to each your own. So that's it. That's what you get in the box for Telestration's 12-player party pack. Again, I am Mo Tuzano, the Tabletop Bellhop. You find me all over the internet, Tabletop Bellhop, one word. You can visit our website, tabletopbellhop.com. And I encourage you to head to your podcaster of choice and find the Tabletop Bellhop Gaming Podcast. We record a new episode every week where we answer your gaming and game night questions. That's it for me. Thank you for joining me for this unboxing. Good day and game on.